In this video, we're discussing the difference between listening and just hearing someone. I talked earlier about everyone hears what they want to hear and they see what they want to see. It's a lawyer's job to focus people and make them observe things that are to your advantage or to your benefit and to give people the benefit of the whole picture, a fair presentation of your side of the case. The example I will use of the difference between hearing and listening is the domestic case that I had. I represented the man in that particular case and the woman was on the witness stand and her theme of that case was that her husband was rigid. He was a non-flexible person. That he was like a military commander. He barked commands and he was constantly telling everybody what they had to do and it was his way or the highway. I understood what she was trying to say, and she was making some valid points. But in the course of this, she started telling a story of how her husband did not get along with their 14-year-old son. They were constantly arguing. And I understood from talking and listening to my client that he very much believed that it was his job as a parent to provide structure, discipline, guidance, to the 14 year old child because this young man was at a stage in his life where he was getting ready to step out on his own. And the father, despite whether his wife agreed with his methods, his heart was pure. He wanted his son to be a happy, productive, and healthy individual. The story that this lady was telling at trial was that late one night, her husband uh, had been arguing with the son most of the day, and she was tired of it. And she told her husband she was sick and tired of him and his rules, that he was constantly saying, those are the rules, you cross that line, I will chop your toes off. He further explained to them, and she did relate this, that he would tell them they were allowed to go to the line and push the line, but to never cross the line. And she was done with that. She was not gonna tolerate that anymore. Well, I didn't just hear what she said, I was listening to what she said. And my examination of her was, ma'am, your husband set boundaries, is that correct? She agreed. And I said, but what you did that night when you told him you weren't gonna tolerate that anymore, you set a boundary too, didn't you? Well, it didn't matter what her answer was, it was obvious, she had set a boundary. But what I said to her next was, ma'am, if you were mad at your husband for setting boundaries, then why did you imitate him? Why did you set boundaries? And the truth of the matter is, you're mad at yourself that you didn't set boundaries earlier. And that the advantage that your husband provided the family was, he told people what the boundaries were. He set a line of tolerance so that there was no guessing. And you, you knew when you crossed his boundary because you were forewarned. But with her, she didn't set boundaries. You had to guess. And once you'd cross those boundaries, rather than her giving you advance notice, she would explode and set ultimatums. Quite obviously, that's a totally different approach to what the lady wanted to put across to the judge. But that is a good example of the difference between listening and hearing what people say.